What is going on, guys? It is your boy Sigil here, actually coming back to you with a, uh... It's on straight? It's straight as it's gonna get. Coming back to you with a brand new video today. We're playing some Call of Duty. Uh, just got into a ground war, because I can play ground war now. All I had to do was, you know, dismantle all my pack. The fuck did I join? This guy's 38 and 6. I'm not, I'm not dealing with that right now. So, today I was at work, and so basically what we do is we have a stock up where we put our food and, like, the truck brings in all the food inside, we'll put that in. So this truck came up and I was totally ready to do what I was supposed to do and like do my job and everything. So the truck would come in and like basically everything would go down a belt and then we have a rack set up so that we can like transfer shit over. Thanks teammate for paying attention by the way. What's the point of having a sniper on your back if you're just gonna run around with a Rafka kid? Please explain to me what the point is. That kid's, that kid's fucking cancer. I fucking hate people that do that. Play fucking free for all because at least that like I can I can sort of expect people to be somewhat a fair, maybe. I don't... If you couldn't tell, I'm kind of... I'm just a bit triggered by, by some of the people that I'm playing. Anyway, so what would happen is you would throw it on the belt, and then you would slide that to the other person, and then that person would put it away. Well, they put me in the frickin' fridge, and I didn't really know where anything went. Like, I was telling them, I was like, I usually do this up top. It'd be nice if you guys could put me up top, because usually I do this up top, and you when you go up top, like, literally all you do, all you do when you're up top, put the stuff on the belt, and then they will take it down themselves, which makes it pretty pretty easy for you. And usually that's like the easier part of doing what we call, it's called Brower by the way. Um, it's the easier part. This one guy was looking at me and he's like, yeah, you're, you're sorry, but you're not, you're not doing it. I usually like to do the, the up top part and they weren't going to let me do the up top part. So I was like, okay, well, whatever then. You know, they put me on the bottom and I explained to him, I was like, you know, I don't really, I don't really know where everything goes. So like, probably not going to do that well. And that was stupid. And they looked at me and they were like, oh, it, uh, they literally told me that it didn't bother them if I did bad or not because he has to go in there anyways and basically sort it out before. The only stuff that I knew where it actually went was like the the milks and like I, I'd stack those up and that's about it. Everything else, I was just kind of like, okay, well, we're just gonna, we're just gonna kind of wing it with those. We basically did do that. Like, I just, I, I basically threw everything else, like, in the vicinity where I think it would go. And then the rest of it was all like, okay, this is, like, this goes down here and I'm just gonna drag it over. That's basically what I did. Because that's all I really knew how to do. We did that, and then it came to the freezer, and that we got backed up a shit ton because I was... I was pretty slow. I'm not gonna say I wasn't slow. I was trying to like throw everything down and we had the uh, we had the uh, tray. Like everything that gets set up, we put it like on a, a little rolly thing and so you can just slide it across. That way we can just kind of like keep the flow going. He throws one down, I throw it down the next thing and then it goes to the person, the person puts it away. That way everything kind of just stays in a nice, like a nice flow. But it didn't, it didn't really work out that way. Anyway, so what would happen is he'd throw me, I think we got like fries and we had a bunch of boxes of fries. We had like, 27 boxes of fries and the fries are coming fast because the guy at top is just putting fries on top of fries and just throwing them down the thing basically it wasn't throwing them like the belt moves evenly but basically you pick up a box put it on wait for enough room put the next one on wait for enough room put the next one on but he didn't really leave a gap in between the boxes so the fries were just like he'd roll them down i'd have to roll them off he'd roll them down i have to pick them up because unfortunately we only have a certain amount of these like little roller things so Basically one was here and then one was here, but they didn't connect so I'd have to pick one up and push and push it And these boxes are like, you know, 20 30 pound it's Muscle it got to the point where like we got so far backed up th that like I couldn't put any more boxes Then he rolled one of the boxes it fell off and it hit like Hit what we were using it to balance on and it plugged a hole through the cardboard box But it's okay for the food because the food's like all in plastic bags so Food's okay, but it was just like, we, we were just kind of laughing because we were just so backed up because the guy that was there, like he just, he didn't have enough time to get the boxes because there were so many coming. And what we did is we balanced the last one, the last roller, which was going on a downward slope so we had enough like room to put most of it on. Uh, we had balanced the last one on McNugget boxes. So it would make, it would, it would hopefully make things easier didn't make things easier. <laughs> we ended up crushing a McNugget box on one of the sides and it just, it looked terrible. So like, they were balanced out and it ended up going down and like some of them I had thrown too many and they were like, you have to throw them pretty hard to get them to slide all the way across. And they had like smushed this McNugget box. So the McNugget box on one side is all like crushed and then the other side it's all nice. So we flipped it around when we put it back because we were like, oh, this doesn't look too good. It was a pretty bad process to do. After we'd done the freezer stuff, we had uh, moved over to all the dry stuff. So like the ketchup, uh, the coffee, all, all the stuff that's dry and then like the cups. So we move over to that room. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to stack everything up on one side, everything, because what we do is we have all of our like 
food items on the right side. Well, if you're looking in through the door, food items on the left side, everything that's not food, like boxes, cups, anything is on the right side. So what you're supposed to do, since you don't have enough time to basically take everything and throw them back, you just you put all the stuff that's like not food behind you and everything that is food to your right because you're facing outside the door now, so it's on your right. I had stacked everything neatly on the right because there's all the food stuff, so it can't look messy. But everything else that wasn't food, I was just throwing behind me. I was just like, fuck it, get out, just get out, I wanna get this done, like fuck it, threw everything behind me. So it was an absolute mess. It looked like I had built a fort out of cardboard boxes and shit. Like it honestly looked terrible and I felt so bad because I wasn't the person that had to go through and sort that. Fuck it. So yeah, that's about everything for the video today. Peace.